one has a really nice view. Hopefully there's nobody there. This is really, oh, wow. This is nice. Wow. Oh my God. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now again everybody I'm Scott and I'm Melissa welcome back to a very exciting edition of RV rolling with MJ as we continue our journey up the east coast of the United States into Canada we've passed through New Brunswick uh, territory where are we exactly today well we're standing right now at the Hope Rill Rocks Provincial Park it's so cool our campsite is on the outskirts of Alma which is a town about a five ten minute walk into town yeah, it's a cute so, little it's town a, it's a cute little town um, although the sticky buns are a little bit overrated but uh, <laughs> other than that yeah, the um, campground is actually called Headquarters Campground. It's part of the Fundy National Park. Uh, you have to book it through Parks Canada and uh, go online the day they say at the time, a little bit, a half an hour before, to get your campsite. We're actually in site number three, and it's a pull-through, which is great. Um, definitely love that. It's full hookup. That's another plus. Um, we only have 30 amp. I'm not sure if they have a 50 amp. But we have 30 amp, but it's cool here, so we actually don't need the two ACs going in an RV. Um, so uh, um, the, the campground is really nice. It's, I mean, it's like a park setting. It's like really beautiful. They actually have yurts if you don't have an RV and you don't want a tent. They have really cool yurts, and like two of them in particular have great views of the um, Alma, the town, and also you can see the water. And then there is an area where you can stand, you can sit. There's like um, chairs, um, benches, where you have a good view of Almar in the campground. So I really, really like this campground. So the, so. And the town is a nice little walking town. Yeah. There's uh, what's, one of the interesting things in Alma is the fishing boats. Um, they come in, and when it's low tide, like it is now, right. the boats can't stay in the water, so they are propped up. Right. On a little metal box and they just sit in the dry land mm -hmm. um, so all the boats are not able to do anything until it's high tide again and then they get to go out and they come back and they park themselves and they're prank propped up so they don't tip over yeah, that was really cool to see it's definitely cool to take pictures if you're into photography that was a cool thing so, so. there's some you know shops and there's some uh, yeah. seafood places to eat we'll check mm -hmm. out uh, dinner uh, yeah, later. probably tonight mm -hmm. we scooted uh, into town over there. But you there. can walk, so yep. it's not far to yep. walk. So. People become very lazy. Yeah. Oh, they uh, have a laundry. 40 minute drive to get to Hopo Rocks. I was trying to find something closer, but I couldn't. But actually, I don't mind the drive. Yeah, it's a nice it's 40, drive. It was a nice drive, 40 minutes, not a big deal. And it's a really nice place to stay. So. Hey, hey, it's Melissa. We made it, thankfully, um, to Headquarters Campground, which is in the Fundy National Park. You do have to pay an entrance fee um, to be at the National Park. And right behind me is where you check in. Um, and you have to book it beforehand and online on the Parks Canada website and uh, so when I came in only thing I had to do was pay for the fee for the National Park so this is a really good location because um, it's really close to a small little town called Almer <laughs> Hey 
we have a pull through and I got site number three. It's full hookup, but just 30 amp. Now, I'm not sure if they have 50 amp, but honestly, right now it's not that hot. I mean, it's perfect, actually. It's like either low 70s, high 60s. So it's really don't need the two air conditioning going. And at night, we end up turning off the AC because it's been, at least so far, it's been really cold and I have a feeling it's gonna be again. So this is section one through nine. And as I said, we're over there, number three. I love the fact that it's pull through. Here's our site. It's really pretty. They do have laundry and I saw they have activities if you want to partake. Like tomorrow night at 9 they're having the Fundy Idol. So with the Parks Canada you have to go, you, you go on to the Parks Canada website to see when the following year's um, reservations start because each each national park is different and then at that particular time you got to go on I suggest going on a little bit before I think I go on like a half an hour and then you they put you in a waiting and you get a number once the time if it's 8 o'clock I usually get on at 7 30 in the morning and then at 8 it tells me how many people are in front of me and then you just have to wait there are a few hikes you can do here. Like there's one, I think it's called Dixon Falls. Not sure if we're gonna have enough time. We're only here for two nights. And then we're moving on to Prince Edward Island. It's like a park, I feel like I'm in a park. I mean, we are, it's a national park. It's just very pretty. And there's where you put your garbage. I'm guessing maybe there's bears, I'm not sure. I'd love to see some kind of wildlife. I haven't seen anything except for deer. And it looks like all these are pull throughs. I wonder if that's the laundry. They also have yurts that you can rent. Really cool. If you don't have a if RV or you don't want to camp. In a tent, you can stay in one of these. And some of them look like they have views. So the views, these are, the, again, these are the views from the yurts at the campground. And that must be Alma down there. And on the right is 306-40. Looks like the tent site. And that's 34-35, all tents. Huh. That's very cool. It's just like another yurt, like a tent house. I'm thinking there's a view if there's benches. Look at that view. Wow. So glad nobody's here right now. It's pretty big, bigger than I thought. It's over over a hundred sites. We're in Alma. We're in the Fundy National Park, and it's right outside our campground headquarters. Where's campground. the water? The water is low tide, so hopefully oh, there's yeah. boats over there that we'll see. Oh, yeah. so this is what happens when there's no water. There's low tide. When there's low tide, no water. These boats just stay where they were. And they have these little like boxes or steel things that they put under the boat because if they didn't have that there, those boats would tip over. So when the water fills up later, high tide, these boats are operational and they go out. Probably these are lobster, probably lobster, yep, lobster boats. But they can't do anything when there's no water. So see you tomorrow morning.
So let's talk yeah. about the reviews. So yes. we review campsites from zero to ten, with zero being the worst place we ever stayed, ten being the best place we ever stayed. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do something completely different. I don't want to throw Melissa off. I'm going to let her go first. Okay. You always let me go <laughs> first. Well, because I really like this campground. I just love it because how beautiful it is. And it has a nice option. Not that I'm using it, but I would have loved to stay in one of the yurts. I didn't see inside. And uh, there are place to see a view not that we're not seeing it our RV but that's okay and uh, it's close to town which is great I'm gonna give it an 8.5 I really recommend this campground I think it's a really solid score solid. and it's beautiful and it's pull through and I love that yep. so. um, I'm actually gonna give it a 9 oh I thought about giving a 9 but Hilton Head I gave a 9 um, and that's a little bit better one of so. the things I'm, I'm, I'm realizing as we go on our RV journey is what what seems to be important at least to her and and I think to me now too <laughs> is the level ability um, I didn't have to do a lot this was level yeah um, it was manicured well the whole site um, there's no weeds there's no it's um, I mean it's not and the a trees high, are beautiful it's not a top-notch RV resort yeah. but it's a good, you know, op I like open, there are no trees, yeah. good like, grid pattern, almost like a um, movie theater, drive-in movie theater type, but not, you know, not, not close together, um, had a good vibe, people seemed nice, you know, not trucks everywhere, getting in was easy, had yeah. a good vibe, and there was the amenity, the amenities were great, and uh, again, right by the town, walking distance, mm -hmm. so wow I factor, like if you want to consider that a wow yeah. factor. And this is, is a short drive, yeah. and this is a wow. This is definitely a, this wow. Is a wow. This is uh, something you should see if you go in New Brunswick. This is definitely the best thing we saw yep. so far here. So um, one of one of the yeah. um, so far one of the better, you know. Again, what you notice in, in our reviews, everything is sort of in the seven five, yeah. seven seven to nine. That's kind of, we should almost do away with zero, zero to seven. Well, there could be seven. some more. Although there have been a couple that were really bad, yeah. which you've seen on our show, mm -hmm. and um, very few that are top, but when you get a nine, you know this is probably yeah. in our top ten of all time. Definitely highly recommend. So, so there's anyway, not a lot of choices out there yeah. um, as far as places then. So this so. is definitely recommend if yes. you're heading this way. Mm -hmm. So with that said, yeah. we will we'll see, see you down, down the road. road.